<laughs> Olivia, thank you so much for joining us Not for Fashion Spins Day. Tell us about your uh, London Fashion Week so far. How's it all kicked off? Well, it's day two of Fashion Week, but it's my first day. Uh, I started off with Jasper Conran, um, which was lovely. That was in the BFC space, which is now in a car park rather than Somerset House, so it's a little bit edgier this year. And uh, I've just been to Julian McDonald, which was um, actually in also in a leisure centre, like a sort of uh, Art Deco leisure centre in Seymour Place, which we've just been to. So uh, yeah, no, it's been cool, and the fashion's been crazy. I mean, I'm quite girly. I do. I'm, I must admit, I quite like sparkles and, and flowiness and sort of everything a bit feminine. Um, so I sort of the stuff I do. I'm going to Alice Temple tomorrow. Absolutely love. What is what what is it that draws you to London Fashion Week, and how does it compare to kind of Milan and New York and those other ones? Um, I think London's got like a a real sort of cosmopolitan edginess about it. I mean, like, I think London's such a cool city. I you know I do a lot of travelling for my job, and every time I return to London, I just feel privileged because it's it's such a a cool place. Paris is again a very very stylish city. Every time I go to Paris, I sort of feel like a little bit of it rubs off on me. And for like two weeks, when I come back, I'm like, oh, I'm very chic, and then it sort of fades away, and I stop <laughs> washing my hair. And um, but I think London's quirkier. I think my favourite costume so far uh, would be. I mean, I've done a lot of 30s, which is sort of very beautiful. Madeline Mathers, who was in Indian Summers that I played for sort of two years over the last couple of years, had a lot of very glamorous outfits. Um, but I've been quite lucky. I mean, I've, uh, I did a character for Garrow's Law, um, which is 18th century, which is rather beautiful. She was rather kind yeah. of glamorous. Uh, she was described as a bird of paradise. And it sounds like on set there's some quite wacky moments like I was reading Indian Summers you've had problems with scorpions and snakes yeah. and all sorts of things what's the wildest thing that's happened on I, set I think being stung by a scorpion was the maddest that that was so crazy and it had happened on a it had happened you would have thought it had happened while we were like in the jungle yeah. or sort of filming and actually it happened um the producers had taken us out for dinner like the group as a sort of well done you've got halfway through the series kind of dinner and um, and it was we were on a table outside, and I reached for a piece of fruit and um, felt this sort of sting, and sort of moved back. And this two and a half inch scorpion had stung me on my finger, and um, didn't really know what to do. Uh, the producer was like, um, "Olivia, I think we need to go to hospital." And I was like, "Do we?" He's like, "Well, yes, it could be poisonous." And it was sort of monsoon season for like most of the time we were filming oh in Malaysia. Gosh. So it was this terrible thunderstorm. We went to the hospital and um, <laughs> we arrived and they had a stretcher outside the hospital. And I was like, oh God, this is a really bad sign. And I you know, started to get like quite panicky. Didn't know whether it was poison. I mean, didn't know whether it was yeah. deadly. I had no idea, hadn't looked it up at all. Um, assumed it must be. Anyway, sort of, I was having my vitals checked in the hospital and um, spoke to the nurse and was like, you know, Am I gonna die? Like, is is this really dangerous? And she was like, Yes, yes, can can. And I was like, I'm not sure she speaks English, but that is really scary. <laughs>